Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Bear River, which has become more appropriately known as the Bear River Massacre, located in Franklin County, Idaho, on January 29, 1863. The American Civil War was the center point for several massacres of Native Americans. The worst of these massacres in the West was known as the Battle of Bear River, or more accurately known as the Bear River Massacre. For more than a decade, the Native American Shoshone tribe had been banished off their lands by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This was done by the church's use of cattle herds, destroying the ability of the local wildlife to graze, and the increase of white hunters reducing the population of wild game themselves. These all combined to drive out the local tribes. Without these lands, the Shoshone were reduced to starving. To prevent their children from dying, the Shoshone were forced to raid the farms that were located on lands that used to belong to them. In response, Brigham Young issued a policy that settlers were to provide the Shoshone food in exchange for what the settlers had taken from them. With this shaky peace in place, the Shoshone avoided homesteads, but they did target overland stagecoaches and supplies of food that were shipped. The resulting raids led to inevitable fighting and would result in the deaths of some white settlers. The settlers themselves never addressed the deaths of the Shoshone, and not all raids were instigated by the Shoshone. In response to the raids, the white settlers petitioned the United States to aid in retrieval of captured children and to put the Shoshone in their place. They did this with the use of U.S. Colonel Patrick Edward Connor. Colonel Connor found himself facing off the Shoshone chief bear hunter several times. The primary mission of Connor and his California volunteers was shifted to guard the overland mail. The connection of the settlers to, in the west to the cities of the east was considered paramount. Their orders gave Connor and his men authority to hang any Native Americans on the spot that may have been hindering the mail. Connor used this power as a mandate to kill Shoshone and discredit the policy of Brigham Young to feed the Native Americans in the area. On January 21, 1863, Connor and his volunteers began a surprise attack on the Shoshone. He did this by starting out sending 70 men of the 3rd California Infantry along with two six-pound mountain howitzers towards Bear River. After three days, Connor himself, along with U.S. Major Edward McGarry, left Fort Douglas near Salt Lake City with an additional 300-plus men of the 2nd California Cavalry. They intentionally traveled that night to avoid detection and met up the 3rd Cavalry Infantry on the night of January 27, 1863. Their target was the Shoshone Winter Camp located near the Hot Springs, which was protected by willow trees along Beaver Creek, now known as Battle Creek. This was along the Bear River itself. The area provided protection to the ravine and to the 75 Shoshone lodges. In addition, the bluffs in the area ran a circle around, providing the tribe some defense. Major McGarry crossed Bear River with the 2nd California Cavalry on January 29th and attacked the Shoshone. Their mistake was assuming this wouldn't be a difficult fight and allowed Bear Hunter and his men to defeat McGarry initially and push back the California troops. Connor responded by traveling with his infantry across the river and used his men to surround the camp. This position allowed Connor to gain a position on Bear Hunter's left, and they began slaughtering Shoshone piecemeal. The resulting casualties were brutal, with Connor himself suffering 42 wounded and 23 killed, while the Shoshone had more than 250 deaths. Some estimates of the deaths of the Shoshone were 384 or even up to 490 people. This included women, children, and the elderly. There were no wounded Shoshone because the California Cavalry bashed in the heads of all the tribal members, including women and children that were in the camp. Only about 20 Shoshone men escaped, and it did not include Bear Hunter, who had been killed in the fight. Connor, for his horrific act, received a promotion and became an advisor to U.S. Colonel John Chivington, who would be the commander of the massacre at Sand Creek in November 1864. Sadly, this was not the first and nowhere near the last massacre implemented by both the Union and Confederacy against Native American tribes at this time. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.